so different to my other bike. It's so different. <laughs> oh, do you only have to slightly touch the handlebars and you're, you're turning? I'm not used to that at all. Good afternoon. Wheel is at large. This is going to be an, an, a different ride. A very different ride. <laughs> no, that's the wrong way. <laughs> oh, dear. This is very weird. Yes, I'm sure. Julie's out on her 1970s mixed tea and um, yeah to say it's a noodle is probably an understatement especially compared to her live which of course is stiff frame all new technology <laughs> and I recently put some wider bars on because she didn't like the narrow straight bars so now there's even more leverage to make it noodle <laughs> Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, rim brakes as well. <laughs> yeah, as long as you don't expect them to do what the other bike does. <laughs> Where are we going? Turn right. Turn right, okay. Yeah, we're clear. Yeah. Mike's on his single speed. There's a pothole along here that I think I uh, remember hitting. Uh, got to avoid that, yeah, no. They have filled it in. Thought they had. Yeah, so I don't know how you pronounce the name of Julie's bike, so I'm just going to pronounce it in phonetic English. So it's a Moto Bacane mixed tea. It's of about the mid 70s. The um, the date on the back of the back brake says 1976. The date on the back of the front brake says 1979, but I can't imagine they had a brake hanging around in a factory for three years waiting to be used. So maybe the front brake was a replacement at some time. Or maybe it's 1979, but uh, I think the 1979-80 ones were a slightly different design from what I can tell. And uh, it was rescued from a skip by a friend of mine who bought, sort of picked it up as a project bike and said, I haven't really got time for this, you have a go. And that's what we came up with. So it was a three speed with a derailleur with uh, down tube shifters which I've now converted to eight speed. 650B by 35 originally. It's now 650B by 38. And um, it's really smooth actually, ever so quiet. And we put a thumb shifter on the bars, so. Cool. And of course, no town bike would be uh, Complete without a rag. We'll go left here. Okay. I hear the whistle better. <laughs> you got a bell. I know, it's just. Yeah. I need to get one for this actually. I do like the colours. That's it, yes. <laughs> The reason for the colours was, um, well, first of all, to make it bright and noticeable, but secondly, to make it slightly less attractive for somebody to steal. 
So, um, <laughs> I, mean, I think it's one thing to steal a bike and stick it on eBay when it's a normal colour, but when it's quite obviously something quite different, it's going to stand out, isn't it? So, yeah, fingers crossed on that one. Because this is a bike that's going to be sort of locked up and left around town. Once, you know, we can do that again. That was what it was made for. you get used to as well because I'm not clipped in or anything so I stopped went to pull my right foot up to use that as my push off and it didn't come up with me so not being attached to my bike was a bit weird and what's going on here that's interesting I've got another gear. Let's have a look. Let's see if I have. No, that's top. No, that's top. The other thing is I'm so used to having the Wahoo on the front to be able to see what speed I'm doing. I glance at it quite a lot. And of course it's not there on this bike. So this is actually a mountain bike crank with a 38 tooth oval on it. Um, so it's 38 at the front and 1132 at the back, eight speed. Because of this center stay here, yeah, I did have to space out a bit wider than I wanted to at the back. Just to give it a bit of room here because the chain on the small cog was very, very close to that center stay. So. Yeah, a little bit of uh, widening, a little bit of dishing of the wheel, but it works. Because it's French threaded, it was actually cheaper to buy two Holotech bottom brackets and use the non-drive side on both sides. And of course, being a mountain bike crank, we know, don't we, that there's going to be all sorts of options for chain rings and things like that, easy to get hold of. Yeah, originally it had a um, down tube shifted, so just got a cable clamp and just extended the gear cable up onto the bars. Yeah, I put this eight-speed uh, thumb shifter on there. It's worked really well, actually. Not particularly fast. You wouldn't expect it to be. It just does the job. Sometimes it's about just nipping around to the shops or, you know, going to a coffee shop or something like that. And of course, when that all starts up again very soon, this bike will come into its own. I think it definitely deserves a little bit better than being a skip for sure. Headwind. So anyway, that's about as much as there is to know about Julie's Cafe bike. Enjoying the wind on your aero bike. same as the gravel bike. Well, we're back to uh, Bournemouth and uh, just going to do a duty call <laughs> under the, uh, the road. <laughs> I know because I've got the uh, GoPro attached to the frame. All you can hear is buzz. But sat up here, this bike just sounds amazing. Oh. 
Well, if you've watched this far into the video, thank you for watching. And I've only got one more thing to say, and that's under this bridge. Wait for it. <laughs> See you next time.